My name's John Rosso. I'm with Sandler Training, and I'm here to talk about Sandler Rule number 39, when all else fails, become a consultant. Now, if you look at the goal of the sales process, the goal of the sales process is ultimately, at the end, to get a decision, either a yes or a no decision. Now, assuming you did that well, you got a yes. If it worked out that you got a no, there's still some place to go. It's called selling after the no. So when all else fails, become a consultant. Here's an example. Someone says, you know what, I appreciate it, John. I've decided to make the decision not to move forward. The ability to sell as a consultant can sound like this. Hey, Jack, now that it's over, do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? No, John, go ahead. Um, you mind if I take my sales hat off for a moment and just talk to you as if I were a consultant hired by you? Sure, John, what is it? You and I spent 45 minutes together today talking about A, B, C, D challenges in your organization. I understand it's your decision. You've made that decision not to move forward. I will tell you, I, I know I didn't do the best job today, but I do these things well. You really ought to work with us on this. It's the right thing to do. I'm asking you to go ahead and move forward with us. So again, when all else fails, you can become a consultant, sell through conviction. Think of it as an hourglass. The top part of the hourglass is to get that buyer to give you either a yes or no decision. And either answer is okay. Yes is better, but no is a good second place. And then the bottom part of that hour, hourglass is to sell after the no. And again, selling after the no, use the phrase, now that it's over. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Because it's almost as if that prospect has heard a bell go off and now they go to their neutral corner. Can I take off my sales hat for a second and talk to you as if I worked for you, as if I were already employed as a consultant? How do I come across the table, sort of shake you by the shoulders and tell you you're making a mistake? These are your issues you shared with me, A, B, C, D, E. It's the right thing to do, Jack. It makes sense. I'm asking you, you ought to do it. Give it a shot. Early in my sales career, when I got an awful lot of no's, more no's than yeses, I found that selling after the no often converted up to 30% of the people. 30% would say, you know what, maybe you're right, let me give it a chance. And then if I delivered, and I was gonna make darn sure I delivered, if I delivered, they became long-term clients. When all else fails, become a consultant.